For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Well, hello again as we move into the month of June. Well, my golly gee, we we're halfway through the year almost, and we're glad that you are here. We've got some really important news from St. Clair County Community Mental Health. Got a brand new facility in Marine City. Joining us now is Dan Hayes and Melissa Hunt. Welcome back. Thank you. To the, to the set. Dan, welcome to the Thank you. Focus set. Melissa, tell me about the excitement. It was uh, May 30th you moved in. Yes, we moved in. It was May. yesterday, a couple was, days ago. Yeah, just right after Memorial Day. Yeah. Right after Memorial Day. Where, what is the facility? Where is it? Tell me all about it. So we are located now at 6221 King Road in Marine City. Um, we moved from 135 Broadway, so right. we're no longer there, um, but we are now in this new facility. Um, this project started back in October of 21, um, worked collaboratively with facilities, with um, our IT department, uh, with the community, with my staff, um, took a lot of feedback, you know, really asked them, what's gonna work? What do we do? Um, the vision was to create a new environment that was safe, that mm -hmm. was calming mm -hmm. um, that worked for a lot of different people mm -hmm. and so really spent a lot of time collaborating with the community asking people what's going to work for you what do you like about the lobby what don't you like about the lobby what can we do to make this better for you um, and so we created this great space um, which is much larger than what we were in which allows us to give more services uh, it allows us to promote more groups um, it allows us to serve more people um. How much size is the staff in Marine City? We currently, I have 25 staff That's in my... That's a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. So you were a little cramped at the other facility and this is a larger one. It's on King Road between what and what? Uh, between um, 26 Mile Road yeah. and Plank Road. Okay, all right. And it was an existing facility. Correct. But you moved in and made some additions and corrections and and uh, better, <laughs> better, better access to. Yeah, it was kind of a blank space. And so even the whole, literally the back of the building was an open um, area. And so we were able to create, uh, we have 14 offices back there wow. now. Yep, and we have, um, we have a playroom specifically to do play therapy in. And we have a room for um, our fitness group and for our art groups. And so it's, yeah, much bigger. In the old building, we had one room that we could do all that in. So. so you're going to have an open house on Monday, June 26th. Yes. Uh, a little while from now, uh, from 4.30 to 6.30. Uh, now that I see the space, but to learn about the programs, what kinds of programs and services will you be offering there? Okay, so we continue to offer individual therapy, group therapy. Um, we have... Um, we have groups that run, we have a coping skills group, we have anger management groups, um, we have a socialization group, a mosaic art group, we have a lot of groups running, but we also plan to add to that in the fall. So we want to add parent groups and we want to... Uh, That's wonderful. Yeah, it's great. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, Dan, your, your involvement was getting the building set up and creating all those little uh, spaces for everybody and mostly moral, and moral support to <laughs> Melissa and moral support <laughs> we, we all need that moral support don't we but no. you're, you're also the IT guy yes yeah so I'm, I'm the IT director and the facilities director so kind of when these kind of projects come up they all end up in my hat somewhere along the way I've got to help out in right. both directions and so um, the undertaking for this site is similar to other sites we've done in the past uh, this one was a little bit different because we like melissa pointed out we had a big shell yeah and but that's uh, a, a that's big a wide open space it's like an open canvas yeah you know that's wonderful so, to work with yeah so melissa kind of designed out what we needed to have happen what she needed and then uh, the facilities team and the it teams worked together to bring in the technology and make sure we work with all the contractors that came in to help us out to get all those uh, uh offices built and you know, put the space in that they needed. And King Road is so accessible yeah. for uh, the people out in the, the townships as well as the municipality of Marine City so sure. and Algonac. So. You know, at our previous site, um, good location, but we were kind of strapped for parking. You know, downtown, yeah, downtown yeah. Marine City yeah. is a little tough for parking these days. Right. Um, but we were able to find, um, uh, you know, this site had enough space for parking. Plus we have a little extra behind us if we need to expand parking. So we actually have that 
that capability to be a little bit larger if we need to. CMH's services have been expanding um, pretty rapidly over the last two years in yes. particular. And at every, you busy. At, at every location, yeah, definitely. <laughs> More parking, Marine City move. Uh, what's up, you, you're doing some work at KPAC and in Port Huron too? Yeah, yeah, so in KPAC again, parking, we're out of parking spaces. Uh, the staff, uh, in individuals that come in for services, uh, there's just very few parking spots available by the time the staff shows up and by the time our vehicle, we have a, a vehicle fleet that we manage as well. Um, and so it takes up a lot of space right away. So then what we've been doing is um, taking a look at every location that we have to see what we can do to help make parking better for not only staff, but people coming in to see us. If I want to as assess myself of, of services, do I have to contact Port Huron and then they contact you or what's what's the procedure? So if you'd like to receive services, if you are having some challenges and you want to come in and talk to somebody or just be assessed, you're going to call 888-225-4447 and that's our access team. Right. And so they're going to, you know, screen you and then we're going to get you connected with our person that's going to do an intake with you and then you're going to get right into services. You're going to start your services right away, whatever it is you call. So they'll for. direct you either to Port Huron or to Cape KPAC or to Marine City. Yep. And if you're in Marine City or Algonac area, uh, the most likely they're going to direct you. They're going to come to me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And parts of St. Clair. So we, we uh, also serve parts of St. Clair. Okay. All right. Well, uh, what, uh, we, should we uh, talk about the party? It's 4.30 to 6.30. <laughs> and you'll be able to see the space, light refreshments, building tours, and meet the whole staff. Absolutely. Come on in, talk to us about programs, talk to us about what we have to offer. Uh, we love getting out in the community too. We do a lot of things within our community. We'll come out, do some trainings uh, with different staff, with the schools if they need it, or, you know, so we like to get out there too and do all those things. Okay. Uh, also, this month, June, is Men's Health Month, and Ben will throw up that, that other slide that we have. There it is, there. It's a good looking slide. Men's uh, Health, and us guys are so famous for not wanting to take care of our health. <laughs> Talk to me about that. Yeah, well, a lot of men go to the doctor and give a lot of their physical symptoms. You know, oh, I got a stomach ache yeah. or, you know, they don't talk about what's going on with their mental health, right? right? And so doctors have to often determine what's going on, you know, instead of thinking it's a physical thing, that it's a mental thing. Um, and, you know, it's just there's so much stigma around it, I think, sometimes, because yes. women are twice as likely to go than men are at this right. point. Um, but, you know, really dropping that stigma and, and inviting people in and saying it's okay. It's okay to not be okay. And, and Deb has mentioned that over the months that we, we've talked to her about it, that it's not, a, it's not embarrassing. It's just like a broken arm. It's like anything else. Absolutely. If you got some issues, that's fine. They can be taken care of. Yeah, yeah. And some people just need, you know, a little help to get over, over whatever's going on, right? Like, I need somebody to talk to about that. And so... That's what we're there for, so. Okay, and the other item that we hear all the time in movies and TV is PTSD, which stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder, but it's just not from being in the military. Correct, correct. So trauma is about perception, right? So you could be in a car accident, I could be in a car accident. You might get back in the car and go, I'm great, no problem, I'm gonna drive. And I might be like, I'm never driving again. Right. So it's a kind of about perception. So different things happen to different, you know, so it could be a car accident, it could be a fire, it could be the death yeah. of a loved one. And so people start to have symptoms, um, not being able to sleep, not being able to eat, having recurrent memories. Um, and so if you start to feel some of those symptoms, you, you have something that happens and you have these symptoms, really call us, reach out at 888-225-4447. Um, and we will get you connected with someone to help you get through those symptoms. There's been so much publicity about PTSD. Maybe that helps, but maybe it hinders that people will say, well, I don't have that. Right, because when we see it in the movies, it looks so extreme. Yeah. Right? It right. does, And it's not always that extreme. Sometimes it's just, I can't go to work. I can't get up in the morning. I am having these recurrent nightmares. I'm, you know, really struggling to, to manage all this. Um, but it doesn't always look as extreme as we see it on TV. And you've got services that can help that at 
Seven. Yes. Simple number. And two, we have two. several. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. We have several different types of therapy too. Oh, so good. it's not all just one type of therapy. So we have trauma focused CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, we have EMDR, which is um, it's a rapid eye movement therapy. Uh, we also have prolonged exposure therapies, and we have trauma informed care. So we have multiple different ways to treat trauma. So because not everybody fits into yeah. one little niche, right? And so we have a lot of different evidence-based practices that we use. I'm going to come up with a whole new one for, for Dan, uh -oh. and that is Microsoft <laughs> PSD when, when the thing <laughs> crashes and I can't get my computer to operate. Do you have any help for us then? Uh, the, the IT team goes through that ourselves every once in a while. <laughs> no, it, it's, uh, you know, it is funny because, I mean, I guess it's not funny, but in the same token, I mean, there's, there's, my team is there to support the staff. The staff supports individuals that we serve. And so it's a different dynamic for our team to make sure that we're taking care of our employees. And so when we see them stress, we try to yeah. break down that, that you know, bit of stress from an IT or a facility. We'll do whatever you need to get you back up and running so that you can keep helping people. So I mean, it's that, kind of, it's kind that of that interesting. Is a stressful that part of, of employment. Sure it is, yeah. Sure. Whether you're in a manufacturing facility or anywhere, or in hospitality or anywhere, or, or especially when you guys are on the front lines, dealing directly with people who are have, have some really important issues. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And our IT people are amazing. <laughs> <laughs> they are. All right. Uh, yeah. What else have we got here? I think that's basically about it. But the 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 bottom line is there's a party <laughs> there's coming a up. Party. <laughs> there's Absolutely. a party. Absolutely. Big party on Tuesday, May the third. No, no, oh, no, it's that on was, Monday. That's when. Yeah, <laughs> I got the wrong sheet. Monday, June twenty sixth, yep. four thirty to six thirty. Let's throw that uh, first slide back up, Ben, with the uh, the addresses on. I think on there. Uh, there we go. Our current location moved, and we are at six two two one King Road. Um, and it's beautiful. I think that facility's been there for a number of years, but uh, it was a different, it was manufacturing or something yeah. else. Mm -hmm. But uh, you can connect by your Facebook page or Instagram or the miracle numbers, uh, 765-5010, 765-5010, or uh, sccmh.org. Yes. Okay. Anything else we got to mention? I think we're good. So. In the party time, and party the par is at 4.30. Party's at 4.30, and we yeah, will have refreshments and, and stay late. goodies. We have all kinds of fun stuff to, to pass out. So good. good. Well, thank you for both. Uh, it's an important service that you provide, and, and I know you've had service there before, but this will expand it in the downriver area. So. Yeah, absolutely. Always good seeing you. Thank you. And nice well, to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. And you see, that wasn't bad at all. No. <laughs> That's about it for uh, this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Till next time, I'm Paul Duggan. Enjoy your June. Stay cool. Bye. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingeman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.